Welcome to this episode of Tools on Air's Light Camera Action Series. In this video, we will give you a short and sweet demo of Just Play. Just Play is our innovative Apple Macintosh based automated video and real time graphic playout solution. It is used in situations where the content has been pre scheduled with a predefined start time. Just Play is a client server solution. The engine and the user interface communicate over the network. This allows the UI to be installed on multiple remote workstations, permitting several operators to work concurrently on the same channel. With that said, let's get started. The Just Play user interface has six major areas which are simultaneously displayed. This allows access to all software functions without opening and closing windows. In the left corner is the library. The library shows all the elements saved on your storage that are ready for playout. To avoid long, unorganized item lists, the library provides separate tabs for videos, graphics, events, and previously saved playlists. Additionally, the search field is unique to each tab, which makes locating content quick and easy. Movies and graphics can be previewed directly in the library. With movie files, new in and out points, as well as poster frames, can be defined before they are added to the rundown. The second part of the user interface is the calendar view. This is a vertical timeline where all scheduled playlists are displayed. We call this the rundown. You can use the calendar view to easily move to any day in the past or future by pressing the left right arrow buttons or by choosing a day in the built-in calendar. The calendar view is also the place where you can build new playlists with a predefined start time and length via drag and drop, or even easier, by dragging one of the several elements from the library to an empty area of the calendar view. This creates a new playlist which has the auto duration feature turned on, and therefore fits exactly to the length of the added elements. It is also possible to drag and drop folders and previously saved playlists from the library to the rundown. Next to the calendar view is the workbench. The workbench shows the playlists and the content of the playlists and the traditional list view. The currently playing item is highlighted in green. Already played items are grayed out and items waiting to be played are displayed in white. New items can also be added from the library directly to the workbench by drag and drop. The drop position defines the start time of the new elements. All previously scheduled items automatically receive new start times. This avoids overlapping elements. Select an element in the calendar view, the workbench, or on the timeline, and use the fourth area of the interface, the inspector, to change its attributes. With movie files, you can change the in and out point, define fades to and from black, define audio fades, alter the field order, as well as the aspect ratio, which will be used for the selected movie. By the way, the out point, the aspect ratio, as well as the audio volume are all attributes you can change even while the movie is on air. Additionally, you can use the preview window and split the movie. If you have a real-time graphic item selected in the workbench, you can change the attributes. What you are able to change depends upon the permissions set by the graphic artist. You can also change those attributes while the graphic is on air. The fifth area is the timeline. The number of layers available on the system is displayed, plus information about the on-air elements. This information is located on the left side. Information about the next elements going on air is located on the right side of the timeline. In the middle, you see the active timeline showing playout progress. Above the timeline is the control area, which shows the online signal generated by the Just Out engine, including all movies and graphic elements on the left side and information about the next coming item on the right side. In the middle, you see the master time, the engine buffer status, and the name of the channel you are currently connected to. The green time code indicates that the UI is displaying the current play. This can be changed to show a preview instead without interrupting the current playout. 
This can be done by double clicking on a scheduled element or by dragging the timeline. This changes the color of the time code to white while showing a frame accurate view in the on-air window. To bring the interface back to the current playout, you can wait until the current playout time reaches the preview position or click the now button. If you want to stay in touch with us over social media, please like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter. Thank you for watching and best regards to the Tools on Air team.